Now, even though things are heating up, Huawei says, we're going to still open those stores in the UK. Hmm. They're, they're still expanding. <laughs> they're, uh, they're we covered the story recently about Huawei being cast out of the UK, it being uh, shunned, even, even more than that. Not, not just you can't continue to, to supply our 5G networks, but we're going to force everyone to rip out the equipment that's already there. Mm -hmm. We're going to force all the telcos that they have until 2027 to get rid of this stuff. We feel it's a threat or, or here's the variety of reasons why we feel like it has to go. And then Huawei comes out a few days later and says, yeah, we're going to open three flagship stores in the UK. Now, to be clear, that initial report didn't have much to say about the consumer devices that Huawei makes and the ability for the general public to go buy those things and use them on whichever network they want. So they, this wouldn't necessarily be impacted by that, but it does seem kind of odd that a couple of days after you get some news like that, you talk about spending a boatload of cash to open these flagship stores. Mm. Huawei has unveiled plans to open three experienced stores in the UK just days after the government confirmed the company would be banned from participating in the rollout of the 5G networks. The Chinese mobile phone giant already has its own branded stores in Madrid, Barcelona, and Paris, but nothing in Britain. It was uh, The first one was going to open in October. So they're doubling down. They're saying... Yeah, we're going to stay here for a while. They're saying, you know what? We're going to uh, keep trying. We're not going to lay this one down just yet. And that's kind of been their status up until this point. Mm -hmm. Things continue to stack up against them, and they still they continue to do what they can in the midst of the onslaught that appears to be heading their direction from all directions, actually. Yes. Heading their direction from all directions. Yes. But they say, we're going to open these experience stores. But I have to be honest with you, Will. If I'm a citizen in the UK and I, I'm following the news, I don't know how comfy I am splurging on that flagship P40 Pro Plus right now. Mm -hmm. To be clear, I'm not saying it's not going to be serviced, but you have the Google piece and now you have the 5G piece. And so the experience store is there and, you know, I go take a walk around. But then I'm wondering to myself, do I really want to put this money down? Am I confident that's a good move? So it's increasingly difficult, but Huawei obviously thinks they're going to woo a couple people. They don't mind spending a couple bucks to put their brand in some high-profile locations. And that's often how some of these flagship stores operate, to be clear. Mm. Part of it is selling you stuff, but part of it is you get a free billboard in a prime location. That will cost you some dollars on its own.